In this example, let's say you want to change the rating of the entire study from 100 to maybe 90. You thought the guy was working at 90%. So one of the ways you can do it, you can click on this one. You could change it to 90 and you can hit the apply. You can hit the apply multiple times and go all the way down. Now, obviously that's fine when you get a reasonable amount of uh, characters, but uh, if you had maybe 100 observations, this would be a very tedious uh, job here. So we don't want to do it that way. So what we're going to do is you keep the, uh, the pop-up on the screen. You come up to the top left-hand corner of the data grid here and you click on the grid here and that will highlight the entire grid. And now if I go to, let's say I want to make it 80, I can click on 80 here and I just say apply. Now in this case, because we've highlighted everything, it's going to apply it to everything. So I just click on apply and everything changed to 80, right? So again, to do that again, if we want to start that again here, we want to change maybe the rating here to 95. So you select any of the you select any of the values to bring up the pop-up. While the pop-up is on the screen, you highlight the complete data range by clicking the top left-hand corner here. You can see a little drop down here. It highlights everything. And then we want to make it 95. We click on the apply. And we don't say apply to all because here there's actually one, this is all one item. So we just say apply it and everything will change to 95 here. Now that would actually work in different areas too. Let's say you wanted to make everything value added here. You could say click on value added and just apply it. And they all change the value added as well here. This global updating works on all of these settings here. So the, uh, the trick here again, just to summarize it, is if I bring back up my default study, here's my original values, you bring up the pop-up, then you come up to the top left-hand corner, you select the entire range, a single click, then you change what you want to change, let's say making it 90%, and you apply it. And since everything is highlighted as one unit, you just click on apply, and it changes it everywhere. Now you can also do the same thing for blocks of data. So let's say the operator began working at 90%, then he went to 105, then he slowed down to 80. So how could we do that? We get the pop-up to appear by clicking on any one of the values here. Pop-ups up. Now we can select a range of lines. So I just click on the left-hand side here, first item, and then go down and do a shift click on the last item. So let's say here is where he's working at 90%. So I can put 90% here. I just use the apply, it's going to apply it to that entire range. They all went to 90. And I come down to the next area of the range here, from here to here, let's say. He was working at 105. So I go to 105 and I apply it there. And then I do for the final set down here to the bottom, shift click, highlight those items, and he went back to 80 here. And then I can say apply. So here you can see how you can globally update groups of elements as well.